Hello and welcome to Rock Paper Shotgun. My name is Colin Mahern and I'm here to tell you that, contrary to popular belief, there are video games launching in the month of April. I mean, look, I can't sit here and claim that we're about to get 30 days of Stone Cold Classics, but there are a decent number of games out this month that could turn out to be better than anticipated. 10 whole, actual, real video games that might be worth your time. Hooray for a sense of optimism. So look, to prove my point, let's just crack on, shall we? Here are the top 10 video games to play on PC in April 2021. Maybe April will have a Valheim level surprise up its sleeve. I mean, who knows at this point. But at time of recording, Outriders does look like the most noteworthy release this month. Listen, I love a bit of shooting from a third-person perspective. And killing baddies with time-bending and fire powers does sound like a delightful time. But it is fair to say that this looter shooter's recent Steam demo didn't blow anyone away. People Can Fly's upcoming effort seems like it's the game equivalent of a large and greasy American hot from your local pizza place. Quite tasty and plenty of it, but ultimately lacking the quality you get from the posher place down the road. But but if you have a hankering for some comfort food, then grab two pals and jump into Outriders on April Fool's Day. You'll probably have an alright time. After the success of their Abe's Odyssey reimagining, Oddworld inhabitants were always going to have a go at shining up Abe's Exodus. Oddworld Soulstorm is the result of that shining. To be fair, this is more than just a nicer looking version of the side-scrolling platformer from 98. For one, the story has been described as a quote retake, inspired by the narrative of Exodus. You can now craft useful items with loot that you find scattered about the world, and given the fact that Abe is an affable kind of guy, it only makes sense that you can complete Soulstorm without killing a single solitary slig. I have a soft spot for Abe anyway, but these additions only make me more interested in jumping back into this world. Did you like Rome Total War? Of course you did. Well, Total War Rome Remastered is, you will be surprised to hear, that game you played for hundreds of hours in 2004, but all modern in 2021. This remaster boasts some remodeled objects and environmental effects, it has been optimized for 4K, and it has ultra widescreen support. All very fancy. But look, I could rattle off all these new features that are listed on the Steam page I'm staring at right now, like a new agent type or the new tactical map, but Humankind has been pushed to August, so Rome Remastered is likely your best bet if you're pining for a new-ish strategy game. Jesus, there really are a lot of new old games coming out in April, aren't there? Although Near Replicant Ver 1.22474487139 Ellipsis does have one thing the others don't. A gloriously stupid name. And that demands respect. Fair play, Square Enix. This new old game is a remake of the original Nier, but specifically the Japanese version, which had a different protagonist to the one in the Nier released over here. But aside from a few details in the playable character story, the two games were largely the same. So it's not like it's going to be wildly different to our Nier from a decade ago. However, developer Toy Logic have made changes. As well as enlarging a few areas and voicing every line of dialogue, they've tinkered with the combat. The hacking and slashing of this one is said to be more like the hacking and slashing of Nier Automato. It makes sense. That's the Nier people played and liked. Time will tell whether this remake will garner as much fanfare as Platinum's action RPG. Here's something you don't see every day. 
a video game about conservation. In Sci-Fi Squad Management RPG We Are the Caretakers, your aim is to protect endangered animals and save the planet. You do that through expanding your headquarters on a world map and by building a team of badass caretakers to stop bastard poachers via some XCOM-like combat. There are consequences to your actions too. How you deal with certain situations will impact whether others in the world will fear you or whether they'll join you on your quest. It's worth mentioning that it's launching as an early access game on Steam, so set your expectations appropriately. Still, if developer Heart Shape Games can nail the execution of this, it could turn out to be a really special game. The Boss Rush Bullet Hell God Strike does sound like an incredibly stressful time. But I'd also quite like to play it. So, at the beginning of each boss battle, a timer starts counting down to zero. That timer is also your health bar, so if you take damage, you'll also lose a few valuable seconds. You can equip special abilities before showdowns, but they will ease into your starting time. So, on top of trying to find the tactical sweet spot during battles, you'll have to figure out how much time you're willing to sacrifice beforehand for more powerful attacks. This balancing act could end up being more aggravating than exhilarating, but it's pretty premise is interesting enough that I think I'll be taking a look when it comes out in the middle of this month. In Don't Forget Me, you play as an amnesiac named Fran who has begun working under the world's foremost expert in memory manipulation. As wonderful as gainful employment is, I can't shake the feeling that this all ends with a negative review on Glassdoor. Inspired by games such as The Red Strings Club and Her Story, Don't Forget Me is said to be a mixture of classic adventure games and more modern puzzle systems. Everyone that visits your clinic will be up for the chat, so pay attention before you go diving into their minds. You'll need to use your knowledge of them when searching their brain Google. Might be one to stick on the wish list if you enjoy uncovering dark conspiracies. I know it's how I spend most weekends. Cozy Grove is a bit Animal Crossing, a bit Spiritfarer and a lot wholesome. You find yourself on an island full of animal ghosts that aren't shy about asking you to go scavenging for them. When you complete quests, the island will get bigger and more new pals will populate the world. One of the game's biggest selling points, perhaps, is how relaxed it all is. Like Nintendo's previously mentioned Juggernaut and 24, the events of Cozy Grove occur in real time. The dead will only give you a certain number of quests per day, so if you finish every job available to you today, then you'll have to jump in again tomorrow to see more. With life being what life has turned out to be in 2021, this could be the pleasant video game a lot of you are craving at the minute. If you laugh in the face of life sim niceness and you prefer the chaos of scrolling shooters, then don't worry because April is being kind to you too. Close to 13 years after the last one, R-Type is back. Many thought the original R-Type final would be the last big hurrah for the series, but a successful Kickstarter campaign has shown there's life in the old shoot 'em up dog yet. Developer Granzella is trying to pull in some new players with a dynamic difficulty system that's a bit more forgiving to those who aren't as well versed with shooting enemies in a ship that's moving from one side to the other. But really, let's be honest with each other. This game is for those of you that grew up trying to destroy the Baido at every possible opportunity. I don't know if this one will be a world beater, but I'd imagine it'll be pretty cathartic for many. In narrative driven Say No More, you play as an office intern that's recently gained the ability to say no. And then you get the opportunity to say it loads to your co-workers and your boss. You can also irritate your colleagues by laughing at them before hitting them with the big N.O. It might turn out that there is more to say no more, but even if the game just revolves around telling your boss to piss off, I feel like that's the energy a lot of us need right now.
Whatever you end up playing over April, I hope you have a lovely time with it. But do tell. What new games, if any, are you looking forward to getting your hands on this month? Gonna see if People Can Fly's third-person shooter exceeds expectations? Want to tell people to follow you in the latest odd world? Or do you want the comfort of revisiting a strategy game you put countless hours into over the last 15 or so years? Let us know in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching, you absolute star. But if you're gonna remember one thing from this video, let it be this. For all of your PC gaming needs, keep it on rockpapershotgun.com. Thank you.